What is up, YouTubers? John Z here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. Now, um, pointing at the little obvious here, and he's bored. I'm trying to do an intro, and you're sleeping. Okay, you're getting back in the ball. Anyways, what is up, YouTubers? John Z here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Violet. Now, yes, um, I did actually get this through a, uh, I actually got this from a YouTuber that I, uh, kind of watch. He gives, he does these, like, giveaways for, like, a week or so, and I was able to get a, uh, shiny Froakie, and I was able to evolve it all the way to a Greninja, where I also decided to breed it as well, and get a regular Froakie as well, so, um, yeah, this is pretty much the squad I'm going with, so I have two Greninjas, obviously one being, uh, shiny, one not, <laughs> so, uh, you know, with a few dark types going in for this ghost gym, um, we have a ghost type, obviously, two ghost types, and since, uh, Lycanroc's terror type is psychic, I thought that would work too, but, um, going to the boxes, obviously, <laughs> obviously these are not the normal ones, also, this is what I bred extra for keys. I meant to breed one, and I just ended up with five extras, so I'm probably, I'll probably trade them at one point, but yeah, um, Crocodile wasn't normally on the team, same with this Annihilate I also have. And, um... Yeah, uh, a lot of these guys are level 51 now. I've done a lot of grinding off-camera, haven't I? <laughs> so, yes, we have a whole squad here. Mostly around 51. Uh, we have... I evolved Slagoo into uh, Gudra, finally. I found an opportunity while it was raining. Um... Arctabax is still level 51. I'm pretty sure he level evolves at level 54. So we have that. I was able to find a shiny stone for Floragis here. So we have that. We have a Sir Titan. I got this fortress from a Max Raid Den, which it's uh, Terra Type and Dragon, which is not bad, but like it also knows stuff like Heavy Slam, Bug Bite, Drill Run, Zap Cannon, which is pretty nice. Uh, also, a Slowbro with Psychic Type. So, it could literally go up against any fire types easy. Um, we have Gyarados here. Got a Heracross, which definitely gave me a run for my money. And also, because it was Steel type 2, that literally counters, like, a good chunk of its weaknesses. Like, his quad weakness to flying, gone. Gone if he terrestrializes. I also have a Surviper that can learn a grass type move, so I decided to catch it anyways. Brillum, who has a rock type move, we always have Cloth. We have a Charizard, obviously, Luxray with Ice, as always. But, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I think we also go on to the next page a little bit, too. Not all of them are level uh, 51 yet, but, you know, we have this, uh, we have this one, which, obviously, it's Terra type, it's not really, like, what you expect, but it has Well Baked, which resist every fire move, which is useful. Um, I finally got myself a Belly Bolt, which, yeah. I have a Ditto, which is Ice type as well. It was interesting because I sent out my Charizard as well, so I was fa facing off against an Ice type Charizard. We also have Execute, Execute here, because why not? And an Oivern, that's a Dragon type. Uh, just Terra type anyways. I uh, didn't do anything with these two starters, but I did finally uh, evolve the uh, one small fire dude into Surledge, and we did get this one through a trade earlier, so now I have both of them, which is nice. But uh, yeah, just a little bit of what I've been doing off camera and such. I'm pretty sure I also have a bunch of candies too. I think I saved up quite a bit. Yeah, I have like five rare candies. Um, I've been using up more of the small candies just to help everybody kind of catch up a little bit. Uh, we have plenty of medium candies and quite a bit of uh, large candies too. But I think we should be fine for the gym, at least. So we're going to actually go do that this episode. And the best part about this shiny one is that it has... Um, what, what is it? The shiny one that's up here, it has... What does it have for its ability? It has protein, which can change its type to whatever the type of move it's about to use. So obviously, we'll be obviously faster. 
And if we just use Night Slash, then this Greninja is just going to be a Dark type, which is interesting. Or I can change it into a Psychic type as well. That could be handy. Or just change it into a Pure Water type or an Ice type. You know, whatever. I mean, hell, it'll be not good against... Uh, it, it, this Greninja could be very useful, honestly, the shiny one. But maybe I'll try to use some others as well. I'm just using the shiny one right now, just because it's kind of a below. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, it was through a giveaway, too, the, uh, uh, shiny Greninja, so, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> John's, uh, hey, listen, let's, uh, let's have a battle. <laughs> God damn it. It's not the time for your last gym, right? I hear from Rika. Uh, Rika. But I'm zero. But I'm zero percent worried about you. Uh, I know you got this. Even the uh, Premiere seems she uh, like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together in the uh, battle. Oh, okay. So you're not gonna fight me, thank God. <laughs> so go have a battle that uh, that's fruitful and f for you and your cra and for the crowd. I can't speak. Yeah, because right now, um, as of uh, stuff to do, we only have one gym, one Titan, and one Team Star left to take down. So we're pretty close. And this is definitely our last gym as well. Oh, a tree oh, you have a few tree piece here. I didn't even realize. That probably means they're going to have a Dragapult, so that's going to be interesting. Welcome to the Mount, <laughs> Mount of Trivia Gym. Let me register as a challenger. Your name is John Yes. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Reem, uh, you'll first need to pass a gym test. What's the gym test? Uh, that means warming up the audience for the main event. Oh, it's an acting job. Okay. <laughs> uh, your job is to get up on stage and show us some dead, uh, fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. I feel like this is a kind of a combination of, um, like, back in Sword and Shield, it's like Pierce and Opla's gym, because, well, obviously, uh, Pierce is a rock star, obviously, he has, like, a rock band or whatever, and then, uh, Opla, like, their gym challenge was just to fight trainers, but of course answer questions, too, but, like, it was mostly just fighting other trainers and moving on, so... You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get out there and have fun. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be fighting some, uh, fighting some people first. I mean, in a, every gym you at least fight someone. Oh, so this is the stage. So how did I miss this giant stage? Yo, trainer, you're like the one performer of the... Uh, opening act today. My name's MC Sludge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have to do some double bat, double battles, huh? Because funny enough, I was thinking about this a while ago. But when was the last time we had a double battle in this game, if even at all? Interesting. Uh, that'll get the sludge up. Well, I mean, I guess the only double battle we've tentatively had is up against the Titan when Arvin's been helping us out. But it wasn't really an official double battle, though. Uh, it'll be so high, it'll melt the monastery of snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass the gym chest, yo. And don't back it down until you win. Three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. Uh, not yet. Give me a second. I, I wanna. I, I just kinda wanna do this double battle with, um, both Greninjas. Hang on. Oops, I didn't mean to do it like that. And if we have to switch, then we can switch, but. Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> Double Greninjas, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so let's fight some uh, multi uh, ghost types. 
I like how in this last gym, too, it's also like a double battle. Like Rehan's gym. This gym test is literally just like some of the gym challenges back in uh, Galar. Or, you know, Sword and Shield. Where's up, Monotriva? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by your challenger here, Jansa. And the first of their three opponents will be young performer who makes it uh, makes it look like a breeze. Aren't you cold? <laughs> the one and only Taz. That battle means uh, one plus one, right? Can you do the math? Why do I feel like you're gonna have a Tauros? Well, that's not right. You should be. Ha you should have a ghost type. Yeah, you have two ghost types. Yo, look at this. Look at this duo right now. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done a, Yeah, I think this is like the first double battle we've had. Uh, you could do that on him. Uh, you also have Night Slash. They both kind of have different moves, but it's alright. I finally also found the TM for Ice Beam, too. I've done a lot of shit off camera. Yep, now he's just a pure Dark type. So now if you somehow throw a Grass Dark type, or Grass Ghost type, like Trevenant, that Greninja's gonna be fine. Well, not that it matters, you're defeated, so... Oh yeah, I didn't even see what the levels were. I think they were still below 50. And if that's the case, I might be ready to also take on the other shit. Actually, I think this was supposed to be the one that um, I was supposed to do before the Ice Gym, at least, or something. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like the last gym. Alright, let's see what you got. I'm probably just going to Night Slash both your Pokemon again. Haunter and Mistrevious. You know what? Oh, it's only effective on... Well, let's just make this Greninja a Psychic type. And you, sir, can just uh, defeat the Mistrevious. I like how my normal uh, Greninja is faster. God, just look at them side by side. There we go. Oh, I can't move the camera. And now it's a psychic type. Yeah, that's right, you lost. Ooh. Oh yeah, the crowd definitely loves me, like, taking out one by one. Also, I just want to say, like, the, I think it's Grieve 4, I think it is, uh, the name of the ghost dog. Well, I like how two of them are just underground with their tombstones above their, like, just above the ground. Your opponent acts, turns, the cheering, and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise from your new challenger who have... Who would have thought they'd sludge up this much? Next is your last opponent, and it's none other than... Me, MC Sludge. Oh, dear God. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I could battle, too. I'll sludge you up real good in a double battle. Sableye, oh. I don't, I don't know if Sableye will actually go down the first. Oh, I can't actually. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Just wanted to get a good screenshot of both Greninjas. Okay, so well, this might be fun to use on you. Um, because yeah, this would only be effective. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think it'll still be neutral, but, eh. 
Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. I don't think the Sableye is going to go down in one shot. Yeah. That's fine. We should be fine anyways. And now we have an Ice type and a Water Dark type. Power Gem. Oh, well, you just had to use the perfect move on me, didn't you? Really sludging things up. Oh, well, um... I have to say, now you're, uh, now you're just dead. Why is it saying super effective when... That makes no sense. I don't know why it's saying super effective when it's clearly not. And they both leveled up. Nice. And what a way to use both Greninjas. The honest excitement is to reach a, f a fevered peak pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! How lucky! That was a rare sight! Thank you, Johnza! Congratulations, you passed the gym test! Give them a round of applause, everybody! Well, that's our last gym test. Now we actually have the actual gym. <laughs> I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto! We are ready for the uh, main event! Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've been all waiting for. Give it up for the MC of Rip Raimi. Oh, we're literally just fighting at this very moment. Okay. Is it still going to be a double battle, or... What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd is loud. It could wake the dead. Let me tell y'all what he wanted to hear. I'm feeling good. Yeah, we're feeling good. Rain, 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 be woo. Thanks for the killer opening, baby. Now I'll get this started for real. I don't think in any generation that. Okay, so we don't fight them right away. I don't think in any Pokemon game that has anybody called someone baby. Like in that kind of way, you know? <laughs> Grass on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a, a min for some uh, run time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staffer you passed. Good, because I wanted to kind of get a little bit ready before hand. Eh, I mean, you were only damaged a little bit. I'll just auto heal you. Um, I think I'm going to start off... Yeah, I'm going to start off with Annihilate and Lycanroc. That's definitely what we're going to be doing. Um, Alright, in we go. I definitely want to terrestrialize uh, my um, Lycanroc. Amazing job, Jonza. You were fantastic. Uh, fantastic opening act. That was the gym test cleared, then. Well done. You've now earned uh, the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Rhyme, the MC of Rip? I like how I like how they're they're called the MC of Rip because they're ghost type gym leader. Ah, very well. Allow me to show you the battle court. Is it the stage again, or? <laughs> yo yo! It sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over on the stage. Alright, where where the where the arrow notes? This is my time and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Reem, you you resign ends here. You're gonna get run up by this pro crasher or cashier. Boom ch boom ch 
Pro Crusher, well, I'm about to check you out. Must have got your rhymes in a deep discount. Please, you think you can step on my game? Fool, I got the rhyme here right in my name. I'm a spectacular which from the... <laughs> I am a spectator from which there is no protector. And the victory in, uh, unto me will be the rain when the crowd sees you in the mere pretender. You want to end my reign? Yeah, yeah, I keep dreaming. Buy, buy a book in, of rhymes, kid, and start reading. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I, I'm done. You won. <laughs> my rhyme is totally whiffed, but I'll be back. Maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift? Seriously? Bars of over jokes, come on. That was oh. Uh, over way too fast. I'm getting bored and wearing this crown if no one's gonna make me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opponent's uh, opener's back. Here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Uh, I'm gonna be here for the gym battle, but I'll, maybe I'll challenge you to a rap battle later. <laughs> Play it like Friday Night Funkin' style. <laughs> As if I would even need to ask. If you were captive by the show, put on, huh? I rap with my, uh, the, I rap what's in my soul, baby. Even words into my symphony and poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like a sable eye. My mean look will lock on uh, down. Like that, you feel me? Sure. Huh, well, let's get going. You're Pokemon, tra you're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not uh, all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Uh, at least you forget, my name is Rame, and I'm known as the MC of Rip. Dead or alive, let's make this vibe. Now let's make this a vibe. Is it going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle, or are we actually doing a double battle? That's yeah, a double battle, okay. Oh. Alright, let's see. Uh. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. And this is super effective on you, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Hey, you two student kid. Didn't you guys chant my name earlier? Uh-oh. Hey, wait, what are you levels? Oh, of course you have Sucker Punch. I didn't even get to see the levels. That should be good, though. Oh, right, you have Disguise. Well, that's a little, uh... C. I like how our attack just gets frozen. Alright, so we're going to have dog versus dog. Yeah, they're only level 41. Wow, I could have I could have done this gym like a while ago. Well, um, bite you. And once again, shadow punch you. Even though I think Ma uh, maybe Q goes first. Shadow Punch, there we go. And I'm pretty sure now we just got the last, um, one, because I'm pretty sure you only have four Pokemon, and I just took out three. You want to learn Outrage? Interesting. Uh, that might be better than Thrash. And it's basically the same move, but Dragon-type. Well, I mean, normal doesn't really 
isn't really super effective against anything, so I think I'm just going to do that then. Plus then I can really thrash on some uh, dragon types with him. Oh hey, actually, I mean, the, the last titan is a dragon type, so that actually might work out. Alright, he's still going, I haven't lost yet. Is that so? Toxtricity. Well, you're obviously gonna trash the lies into a ghost type. Honestly, you're just probably gonna die this first turn, honestly. I don't think. Have I seen. I think I've seen, uh, Trastalize, uh, Lycanroc before. Yeah, my Trastalize on, uh, Annihilate is only fighting, so. Not like that's gonna really help. And I can tell I'm going first, because, well. <laughs> if I Trastalize first before then, then I'm faster for sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I knew they weren't just gravestones. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's just dancing. Alright, trash slice into a ghost type. Do you even have a ghost type move? And dead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, with them being level 41, this gym was pretty easy, honestly. Yeah, I could have done this gym, like, long ago. I didn't even have to train up at all. I mean, hey, she gave us a thumbs up. Giving up the ghosts, not really like my style. I'll let you have this one, uh, tough baby. Alright, so that's all the gems taken care of. Ah, <sighs> great battle, calling it a th and thrilling. You've got the spirit, kid, you've earned my gym badge, alright. And now, about the VIP pass for my next show, too. Nice. Got a free show, let's go. I just like how we're just taking a selfie while uh, the concert's going on. But yeah, that's our last gym badge, pretty much. So with eight gyms, you, uh, you'll be able to catch Pokemon of any level, and they will be sure to listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I might also, uh, al also gonna let you have this. Shadow Ball! I do like that move. I don't know if I want to put it on anybody yet, but, you know... Good move. Good to have. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to the stage sometime, and maybe next time we rap battle. Instead, who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good uh, adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Laters. <laughs> Shines a lichen rock. I like how they just go for Lycan Rock. It's like, Annihilate was there too, you know. You did it! Ah, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said that I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Jonza. A shining a display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Good job, me. Good job. <laughs> Which means... Indeed. Now you, now that you've gathered uh, eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League that it is where you can take on the champion assessment. That place, okay. Yeah, hurry up and get my get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle for e of equals. I gotta take a to uh, take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine-tune my Pokemon's uh, moves and ramps all my tactics. 
Well, good luck, Jonza, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can uh, keep pace at her own talent. There's a special kind of strength uh, that can only be reached by completing with a good rival. Count me among the those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. Nevertheless, of Miss Mezagoza. Alright, I thought we were going to fight someone right away, but I guess not. <laughs> But yeah, now we can go to the Pokemon League if we want. But I'm gonna do other shit first. Oops. Uh, let me see. Does it actually show where the Pokemon League is? I'll actually zoom out all the way. Uh, not precisely where it is. Oh, I think that's where I'm at. Yeah, this is where I'm at. It doesn't say exactly where. It is by Pokemon Center. Probably one I haven't been to yet. Maybe it's by... Oh, there it is. It actually kind of shows, like, right here. I haven't even gotten there yet, so... That'll be some t something for later. Alrighty, so, um... I mean, I guess I'll do it from here. Fly here. But yeah, I think uh, my next objective is going to be taking on the Titan. So we got to change into some Dragon types and Ice types for this. Might as well heal as well. Don't know if I'll be taking some of the Pokemon I have in my team already. I mean, I do have Annihilate, which Annihilate did seem to be pretty uh, good. I like how I also brought Crocodile and Skeleridge and I never used them. To be fair, with all these Pokemon I've trained up, I'm probably not even going to be using a lot of them. Oops, didn't mean to use that. Alrighty. Boxes. Well, actually, now that I think about it, Ice types are probably not going to be good because I... Okay, to be fair, I do know what I'm going to be fighting. So, yeah. Uh... I mean, I guess I could bring in Gudra. Gudra might be a good idea. Uh, how high is Noivern? Sure. We're just gonna have, like, a bunch of dragon types. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ice types won't work because I, I typically know what the full typing of this Pokemon we're about to fight is, so I'm not gonna grab any fire t or ice types. Um, you, on the other hand, a fairy type might be good. So I'll replace you. Uh, it might still be a while before our Dragonair can evolve. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, you don't really have anything... Oh yeah, you're also a fairy type, so you might be good to bring in. And just one more. Uh, we also do have Hexorus. Eh, kind of want to bring you in. Sure. I think I'm going to quickly level them up a little bit. Um, maybe close to 54 or something. Actually, you know what? Yeah, Dragonair is actually kind of close. Let me... Let me actually see if I could just evolve Dragonair into Dragonite. I just need, like, four candies, so I'm just going to use four. Rain Dance. No. There we go. Literally have our Dragonair evolve. <laughs> and now we got our Dragon Knight. Nice. You got a team of dragons and uh, fairies. Hurricane. Uh, let's see. I think getting rid of Slam might be a good idea. Uh, your special level attack's not the greatest. Yeah, I guess. Maybe I'll replace it later. But it's good to have some flying moves, too. Um, I guess I'll put one for Floridus, too, since 
Yeah, I'll do that. And... Put two small candies for you. Start giving you a few mediums. I'll give you five. Uh, maybe like five, three more. All right, that should be good enough for you. Give you like seven. Good enough. Uh, give you like five. Good. Uh, give one of these to you. Knock off? No. In fact, we'll actually just give you like two. That should be good. And we'll give you like eight. There we go. Then we'll give like two more to Gudra. Maybe one more to Gudra. There we go. That means everyone's kind of close to 55. And now we should be ready. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I can make my way over there. I did already activate the cutscene for um, Arvin contacting me about it. So, yeah. Funny enough, with all my time of training too, I've not found a shiny. And I've been trying to like keep an eye out too, in case there was like a shiny around, but... I don't know. It could have been any like the small... Like, it's like that Tezaru one. I don't know, if, I, if we do see it along the way, I'll show you guys what I mean of what it is, but... Oh yeah, and then when we face off against this last Titan, I should be able to, um... Uh, I can't speak. Um... Yeah, nothing really special here. Yeah, but like, these guys... One of them could have been shiny, but it's hard to tell, especially since they keep changing colors, too. I might do this raid real quick, actually. Since we're kind of like close to the end of the episode anyways. Okay, so it's a dark type, but that... Uh, I haven't actually seen one of those before. I don't actually know what type that they are. Uh, let's see, if they're a dark type... Uh, fighting type would be good, so Annihilate? Cross Chop, uh, you don't really have much Cross Chops, though. It is only a 3-star, though. I should be fine. I wonder if it's a ghost type. I actually don't know what this thing's typing is, if I'm being completely honest. I should be fine. It's only a 3-star, and I'm, like, level 54. Funny enough, the highest rank I've faced off against so far is level 4s. And yet, I've pretty much done almost everything in this game at this point. I used to have a dragon air a few minutes ago. Get them. Yeah, look at that. Literally half of its health. Okay, that's just my speed. Oh, you're about to die. Did I literally miss? Not very effective. Okay, so you're definitely a poison type. Now die. While you're sleeping. At least this way we can get a few more uh, medium candies after I just used up a little bit of them. Not gonna capture you. Don't catch. Got two medium candies, one small. I don't know what the Terra Shards are for. Like, I've been collecting them, but I don't know what they're really for, though. Oh man, we got quite a bit of M candies. <laughs> I think that, uh, I think, I think that makes up for some of the ones I've used already for, uh, just leveling up these guys, like the dragons. And fairies, I guess. Two fairies, four dragons. You know, do you have a red neck? Turn around, do you have a red neck? No. Do you have a red neck? No. Your shinies would be obvious. Tropius. Yeah, you seem normal. <laughs> There's an electric one. I don't know if I'll have enough 
Yeah, I mean, we're close to 40 minutes already. I guess it also depends how long this is. Because getting some electric shards might be nice. An electric type Vespa Queen. Eh, I'm gonna say nope on that. So, yeah, um, over there is where we're gonna need to go for, uh, well, I think over there is where we're gonna need to go for, um, taking on the, uh, Dragon Titan. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe, do whatever, and I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. Good, yes! Down with the Titan! Take him down, Sonic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was insane. Down goes the Titan. No more to match for Super Sonic. That was an amazing.